telling that she doesn't love him, rather she's in love with his brother, Tyson. She noted that she only got close to Mike to be with Tyson, and she's sorry. After five years, I'm starting to get that compelling feeling to go dating again. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another subscriber email story. Guys, if you want to send in the story, send it to truestorynation at gmail.com. Here, I'll put it on the screen. That's truestorynation at gmail.com. Whether it's a funny story, a uh, story where you were successful and you want to teach people how you became successful, a story where you've gone through something, and you came out victorious and you came out a better person and you learned from your mistakes uh you want to give advice you want to help some brothers out here or you want to receive advice uh this story here that i'm about to do is someone asking um for you know my opinion and your opinion like what would you do in 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 his shoes um in this situation so um, any story, um, a story where you think you, you'll help out someone, a story where one person can be listening, one person, and you help that person out, you've done your job. I've gotten several emails. Thank you for reading that story. It helped me. Here's my story. You made it, you made me feel comfortable telling my story. There's other people going through what I went through. So send in those stories to that email, but you guys read the title. So let's just get into it. So... Hi, true story. I am here with an incident. This is something that happened to my friend. So long story short, my friend Mike, 28 years old, was engaged with his ex fiance Tamara, 26 years old. Things went well for him until the wedding day at the altar. She didn't even appear and gave a note to her mother telling that she doesn't love him. Rather, she's in love with his brother Tyson. She noted that she only got close to Mike to be with Tyson, and she's sorry, blah, blah, usual craps. He was humiliated in front of everyone, his professors, boss, and even from us. He didn't even reply to our calls and text messages for three weeks. I and him were colleagues, and my whole time I haven't seen him like this. We took him for rides in the bars and, and tried to take the depression away from him, and after a few months... He got over everything, actually. Now, his brother and his ex fiance they are married. And in present, they have five kids. But Mike still has hatred and a grudge towards her and his brother. He did not forgive them. And they try every opportunity to negotiate with him to forgive her and his brother. And his family often taunts him like he's being silly. This happened years ago. You have to let it go. After two years, Mike married his now wife, Maria. She's a manager in a reputed company, and he is too in a great position. His wife's family is rich and is supportive to him. Tyson had a business venture, but it went downhill too fast. He became bankrupt and had to deal with several banks. Things got so entitled now on, on Tamara and Tyson. Mediated through his parents and demanded Mike should take care of their five children and he should fulfill his role as a brother and their kids are hungry and his parents and relatives pressuring him to do it saying he's your brother. We know they did unforgivable but what that has to do with their kids take responsibility as a brother. Wow. But Mike's wife didn't take it well. She said that it's none of their business and they're expecting their baby soon and his family could stick their hands in the pocket and F off. That following day, his cell phone began to bombard with calls. He knew what it was all about and guess who this is? And it was Tamara. She was basically pleading to look after her kids. But Mike told her, it's your responsibility. Your kids, your burden, not mine. And he hung up. After this incident, Mike's family became hostile towards him. He wasn't welcome to Thanksgivings or New Year's or anything. But his wife was understanding and stood with him. They are enjoying their life. Maria was someone with a heart to never give up. No wonder she's now an executive board. Mike deserves someone like her. At least he's happy with her. 
For Tyson and Tamara, they are in a poor living condition, and she works day-to-day -day shifts, and Tyson now drinks every day. And three kids are living with Mike's parents. For me, I felt really sorry for Tyson and Tamara, and every relative of Mike's disowned him for not taking his brother's request. Now, the reason I'm writing this to you is because I want to know the opinion. What would you have done if you were in Mike's shoes? Wow. Let me get my thoughts. Here's my thing. If I'm engaged with this woman, I have no idea. She's dealing with my brother and I don't know. She's sneaking off with my brother. First of all, she comes to me and tells me on the wedding day. She could have told me before that. She leaves me for my brother and then goes and has children and all this stuff. It would be a lot. E it would be easy for me to not help them because I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know my nieces and nephews because I would be so upset. I would be upset that I would just not want nothing to do with them. You know, um, it would be easier for me to be like, no, I'm not sending you money. I'm not taking care. Well, it's, it's your nieces and nephews. You need to help. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to do anything. And the fact that his family is getting on him saying you're his brother, you need to help. You know why they're doing that? Because he married a, 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 a his, his wife's, his now wife's family is rich. And, you know, he has a good job. He makes good money and she has a good job and she makes good money. So they're looking at him like, oh, you got all the money. You need to do it. It's like that. It's that type of situation where it's where it's like, no, you all come together and you help him and his kids. I'm not doing crap. She freaking walked out on me for his for for my brother and i'm supposed to go and take care of their children get out of here not going to happen so for me if i were in his shoes yes I, no i would i would do exactly what he's doing sorry and you guys don't want to invite me to thanksgiving or anything it's cool you guys want to disown me for it all right it is what it is he forgave her and he he moved on and remarried but he's never going to forget He's never going to forget what happened. That was his that was his fiance. He loved her. That's why she was his fiance. And she dipped out for his brother. That's messed up, man. That's cold. That is cold. Guys in the comments, what would you do in this situation? I'm going to ask anyone everybody in the comments, what would you do in this situation? How would you react? Would you go and help your brother's kids and your ex-fiance's kids? Would you would you be upset that your family disowned you? What would you do? Let me know in the comments. But guys, let's go ahead and check out another email. All right, we have a short email here. Uh, someone wanting advice. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, you've sent me a story before. Okay, I remember you. All right, um, need advice. Hi, True. You are creating motivational, inspirational, and insightful content for all of us. Thank you. I don't have a story, but I would like to ask you and others for some advice. I have been divorced from my last ex over five years ago. I still watch all the videos you created regarding cheating, moving on, doing better in your life, etc. And I still do that. Yeah, I remember you. You're actually uh, studying to be a teacher or you're getting your master's or something like that. Yeah, I definitely remember you, man. But I have to ask in all honesty, after five years I'm starting to get that compelling feeling to go dating again. Even though I try to keep my mind busy, have hobbies and friends. I'm in a particular situation where I try to make friend zones and socialize. However, around where I live, it seems very cliquish. Unless you went to their high school, married someone from here, or know someone from here, they will not engage in any kind of involved conversation. Usually it's hi or bye. It's very frustrating for me. And where I go, coffee shops, churches, bars, it's all the same. Last time I tried to engage a conversation with someone at a bar, a woman gave me an ill face and was pointing me out in ridicule to her friends because I'm an older gentleman. They were calling me grandpa. How nice, huh? I walked away trying to brush it off as I left, but it still stung me. My question. I am doing what I can to stay single and stay busy, but I have to know, how does one create the endurance to ignoring your lustful needs and keep concentrating on being your best self? 
After five years, it's really starting to get to me. Thank you, True. A loyal subscriber. Wow. Let me give my thoughts on that. All right. Your question was, how does one create the endurance to ignoring your lustful needs and keep concentrating on being your best self? Here's the thing. We have needs. We have wants. And we know what, what's right for us, you know. Um, the thing with focusing on yourself, working out, um, learning, financially building your wealth, um, that doesn't necessarily mean, and I used to say this in my videos all the time, because I used to get a lot of people to come around here and talk about how they're monks. They don't, they, they're, they're monk, completely monk. And I would say salute to you guys. I completely understand why one a, per, a man will become monk after dealing with a lot of crap, you know. But um, I would say I'm not monk, and that doesn't mean because if if I focus on my career and things like that, that doesn't mean I won't go hang out with a woman. That doesn't mean I won't work with a woman. I've heard people say things like I can't even work with them or do business with them or anything like that. Point is this, you understand, you need to understand women's nature. And from your other video, your other story, I think you do understand female nature. So that just means when you get into a situation, whether it's just friendship, or if you decide to get into a relationship, you know how to move accordingly. You know what red flags to look for. You know how to shut stuff down when they're trying to test you and things like that. Now, the whole thing with, you know, you're, you're meeting people or you're trying to engage with people and they're saying, oh, you're a creep, you old, you're old and things like that. Um, I guess I'm assuming that they're just much younger women. I don't know. They're younger women. So maybe, um, maybe maybe try women around your age which I, I don't know your age exactly i don't know your age so you might just be like no nah, i don't want a woman my age ew you want to get it in probably i'm sure you want to get it in like travel a little bit you said in your town i think you said you said in your town um it's very clickish and things like that maybe take a trip take a vacation you know if if you can that would be my advice um you know it's just like you know if you're trying something over and over and it, and it isn't working you know you got to switch it up a little bit so i would say if you if you say for sure the women in your town are like that i would travel to another city go take a go go meet people elsewhere you know go see if you can meet people elsewhere take a weekend trip go to a bar in a different city you know um go go to events one thing i did was when i started i started getting on my purpose i was working a lot i was uh i started working out i started doing a lot of different things i started learning and reading a lot i also started to go to events i started going to house flipping events and that way like i that's how i met so many different people so it's like do different things maybe the bar scene isn't a good scene you said you go to a bar scene the coffee shop and churches those aren't working okay there's other things to do what what type of type of hobbies are you in career wise if i can remember correctly you had said something about teaching in one of your emails it was a while ago i had to find a video in the email well i can just look up the email but you had said something up something about teaching maybe go when when things open back up because i know it's shut down now but when things open back up maybe try to Go to some te teaching events, you know, um, networking events, things like that. Those work great because you always meet like minded people. It's 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 I, I guarantee you, I bet you when things open back up, go to like a networking event, whatever career you're in, whether it's engineering, if it's uh, art, teaching, whatever it is, try to find some events that's going on at a local college or uh, downtown somewhere, some type of event, um, a book club or something like that. If you're into those things, go to things like that. You're going to meet people just like you. So that's my advice. Um, uh, but staying on your purpose and doing your thing, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to st stop liking women. Like that's not what, it, that's not what it means. You're going to have that urge. You're a man. You're going to want that. But the thing is, is you don't put that stuff over your purpose. But um, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Let him know what he could do. Um, 
What is he doing wrong? What do you think? What's your opinion on it? Guys, if you want to send in a story, send it to TrueStoryNation at gmail.com. Here, I'll put it on the screen. That's TrueStoryNation at gmail.com. And I will catch you guys at the next one.